Hello everyone, I am Makindra Singh from SAG Infotech. Today I show you the reports, reports which relate with the ITC. For showing this, first we select the return option, then we select the option regular, in regular we select the option input credit ledger. After selecting this one option, you need to select particular year and then the month. Then after that you can go for the option ITC available. So the report which we discuss about is the report which is the rule as per 36.4 that is 20% report. This report describes the actual amount of ITC that you can claim in GSTR 3B. For this calculation we have made the report which is as per rule 36.4. For doing the process first you have to import or enter the data in ITC register which you have, have to maintain the eligibility. Like if you want to import the data, you can select the import option and you can import your data from government Excel and from tally or here you can select your eligibility. For example, if you not set any eligibility, you can find the non-set details in ITC pending option or if you set the eligibilities, there is an option ITC completed where you completely uh, showing the detail that you completely set the eligibilities. Secondly, you have to get the GST 2A data and supply filing status from the portal or into software. So for doing the process, first we go for the option reports and here the option which is 10% ITC. So if you check then there is some table over there. Okay. For example, if you want to check only IGST detail, then you can select only IGST option or if you can check the CGST report, then you can select the CGST only or if you want to check the complete detail, then you need to select the all. So here are some uh, sections or what we see the serial numbers are there, which is first one option is A. Uh, actually this report is uh, divided into around six part, which first one option is A. ITC as per reports, second one option is B which is ITC as per GSTR 2A, C which is eligible ITC to be claimed in GSTR 3B and D which is unavailed credit, E which is cumulative unavailed credit and F which is difference between book of ITC and GSTR 2A ITC. So first I show you the section number A, A which is also divided into two part point A1 which is eligible ITC as per books and A2 which is uneligible ITC as per books. Here you can check the details, you can also uh, enter the details. Now we go for the second one option which is B. Now in B again it is divided into two parts which is point B1. B1 showing the eligible ITC as per GSTR 2A and B2 showing the ineligible ITC as per GSTR 2A. If you click on this one options then you can easily know the total calculated detail like if I click on this option it show you the auto calculated of B1.1 and B1.2. Same process we can go with the option C, C which is eligible ITC to be claimed in GSTR 3B. Uh, this is the main calculation part as per the report which we provide and uh, how much amount of ITC credit you can claim in GSTR 3B. So it describes these details. For example, from the month of October 2019, the formula uh, showing you the 120% of B1 and which is less than the E point. Like there is an option which is D. D point describe you the unavailed credit. Unavailed credit is the net difference between A1 which is eligibility as per ITC and C eligible ITC to be claimed in GSTR 3B. It can be negative actually. Then after that there is an option which is E. E describe the detail which is cumulative unavailed credit. This is nothing but the cumulative total amount of table D uh, which is unavailed credit and it can't be negative. Now if you are talking about the point F, point F describes the difference between ITC and ITC 2A. This is nothing but the data 
of non-uploaded invoice in GSTR 2A and this is again further divided into two parts which is F1, F1 showing the uh, not uploaded uh, details or the difference between ITC as per books and ITC as per 2A and F2 which is the quarterly uh, details and the difference between quarterly purchase ITC as per books uh, or either the eligible or ineligible purchase and the quarterly purchase ITC as per GSTR 2A. It includes both eligible and uneligible purchase details. So these are the basic details which you can enter the uh, one by one or you can auto uh, automatically get the details if you import the details. After that you can save the options and save details you can easily find out from GSTR 2A. Like if you click on GSTR 2A option then there is an option supply at uh, GSTR forms detail and here you can directly get your report. This is 10% ITC report. You can easily get the detail from there as well. Same detail you can find out from GSTR 3B. This is the basic detail what I uh, show you is just the, just to inform you about the reports related about ITC. If you have uh, still having some query then you can call us on our number which is 0141 or you can also send us a mail on info at sag infotech thank you